Thank you everybody for joining me today. I'm so excited. Um, I decided to create my own one sheet wonder template. Um, I wanted to do, because I have a lot of the Kaiser Craft paper pads and the Kaiser Craft ones are six and a half by six and a half. So if you pause the video here, you can see all my measurements. I tried to like get a good picture of it for you. So this is the page that we're going to be using and the measurements are if you do it in, in the uh like your major cuts first you are going to do four inch then a two inch and you'll be left with a one and a half inch strip and then you would cut according to the other sizes so like the four inch um not four inch the three inch you're going to cut to three by four and then you'll be left with a three by two and a half piece and then that one and a half inch piece right there I'm cutting to be um, is not quite a square because I would want to use all the pieces of the paper so once you have the strip you cut at one and five eighths until you're left with four pieces and then the two inch strip you're going to cut right at three and a quarter and that'll give you two pieces and then on the last one that was a three inch like I said you get uh, three by four and then you would have a three by two and a half um, using up all the pieces and then the little square I'm just showing you different ways you can lay them across you can decide to do one card and use two or um, use all four I'm gonna uh, play around with that just to show you different things that we could try and do to create the card fronts using um, I'm using cut aparts from the paper pad because there's always one sheet that has like a bunch of cut aparts that you can cut out and then I also have ephemera pieces for this particular collection and this one is the full bloom collection from Kaiser Craft and I was just trying to line them up so that way they would you know kinda have like a a setup so see that one word the congrats with the four pieces that could have been a card um, I wanted to do a card for each of the pieces that I cut so out of everything that we cut out of the six and a half uh, by six and a half we're gonna be able to make uh, eight cards so what I did was I'm just pulling out different ephemera pieces um, stuff that you could technically put on top of it to you know finish out your cards Okay, so I've made all of our bases. So now we're going to start putting all of these to, um, actually together. So um, the first one I'm doing here is the two inch by three and a quarter inch sheets. I went around the edge with the distress oxide. I used worn lipstick. And then we're going to use the glue. I'm using art glitter glue and ATG. And then I even went around the ephemera piece with the um, Distress Oxide so that way I don't have to mat. I can just use the ink to give the definition between each layer. So that one we did vertical and this one I'm going to do more of a um, horizontal layout with this because the sentiment that I wanted to use, the cut apart, um, is more on the horizontal plane so I'm doing a similar setup I'm just putting it in a different direction and then I'm putting some phone tape on the back of this one just to give it a little added dimension and then trying to figure out if I wanted to do this one um, more on the vertical or if I wanted to do it on the horizontal I wind up doing four with the side opening and then four with the top the uh, lift top I guess you would call it because I cut all my bases at four and a quarter by eleven and then scored it at five and a half and with those you know you can like I said have it where it, the, it opens up top to bottom or you can turn it on its side and have it open up like a sideways card so that's what I did.
And I took one of the squares, cut it in half, and put one on each end of the ephemera piece. And then for this one, I'm leaving the square that we cut intact and just putting it in one of the corners of the pattern, um, the sentiment, which says, beauty begins the moment you decide to be yourself. I like that. This collection is really pretty. I love the mixtures of the pinks and the greens. And so um, what I did for the eight bases, I should say as well, I did uh, a matte piece that was five and an eighth by four and an eighth. And then the pattern paper I cut at four by five and a quarter. And then just to give it added interest, we're using um, some foil paper, foil paper that I have in my stash. That was to me in a perfect pink that to go with this. It's almost like a rose gold, but not. It's a little bit more on the pink side. So I just cut that up into one and a half inch strips and then cut to the, the size that I needed for the card, depending on uh, which way we put it. And I think of all of them, I think there's only one card where I didn't use any of the foil. And that's the very last card. So on this one, you're going to see I'm going to wind up um, putting down the two pieces on the end of uh, the little cut apart here and I'm going to wind up putting the foam tape on the back getting everything set up and then I realize I kind of want to spread it out a little bit more so I very carefully try and take it apart so I can um, spread those two pieces and have it look a little bit more uh, fuller on the card front because for some people, you may like it more simple, just a little bit of decoration. Um, some simple is, you know, enough. Um, I wanted a little bit more space because I felt like it was missing something, even though I had already planned to go back at the end and use some Nouveau drops. It was in my mind to use them. So you'll see that at the, at the very end. So right here, as you can see kind of in the foil strip that I'm uh, fighting and fussing with the, <laughs> with the tape, trying to get it pulled off so I could spread it. And in the end, it wound up working out. Now this one, we're doing the same thing, strip down right in the middle. And then going around the edges still with the uh, Distress Oxide ink. And I used the same color on all the pieces. So even the gray um, cut apart, it didn't matter. I wanted the same color so that way it would be uh, more uniformed. And then attach that with some foam. And then this one is the bigger piece, the three by two and a half. And I knew I wanted to use the strip. I had one little strip piece left and it was a little short, but that was fine because the next piece, the... Uh, pattern paper that we cut up that's going to fit I'm going to line it up like right in the middle of that foil piece a little quarter of an inch and then we're going to do the same thing with the um, sentiment which is just happy birthday and I was going to use the foam tape but I decided I wanted to lay all these down I figured some could have dimension and then some I would just do flat now with this one, because the piece was bigger, I just wasn't sure exactly what I wanted to do. So at first I pulled out the tag and I was like, mm, no, I don't think I want to use that. So instead I grabbed the sentiment and then I started picking some of the ephemera pieces, trying to figure out what piece or how I was going to, you know, work it all out to have interest and yet uh, how do I explain it? But not lose the pattern paper behind it either. Almost have the pattern paper be more of an accent. So I'm just pulling out pieces, trying to see if I want to tuck some, you know, which ones do I want to use? Well, I wind up deciding to use the one small one by itself and then the two that were attached together, plus the little flower that's off to the side of the sentiment. So I pull everything apart I'm putting some tape and some glue, and I'm trying to figure out exactly where the pattern paper is going to lay so I can put the leaf. Because I just wanted the leaf to kind of pick out, peek, peek 
out from the pattern paper and then on top of the pattern paper I'm gonna put the flower because it was a standalone flower just put in a little piece of foam tape and it'll give it a little dimension and then the flowers on the center part I laid flat using the glue and uh, some ATG tape and then the sentiment I'm gonna pop up but I wanted to put the flower that was going underneath it under you know attach that first as I lay it down and a little piece of it is hanging off the edge but I'm gonna leave that because I kinda like it sometimes you want something hanging off and sometimes you want it to be more flush but I think that one turned out really good so these are our our cards and then I'm just showing you real quick some of the uh, Nouveau drops that I did so you can see on some I did centers of the flowers and then the three dots um, you can use brads um, sequins whatever floats your boat but this particular Nouveau drop which is the um, I think it's the ivory shell is probably one of my favorites because it actually to me looks like pearls um, once they're drying and um, you look at them, they have a shimmer to them in such a way where it literally looks like pearls on your project. And I just think I like the way it, it, it uh, finishes it off. So some of them I try to keep it minimum. And then, you know, if depending on how you use your Nouveau drops, you can go crazy because you just start putting them down and you almost can't help yourself. So here are our eight cards, the four up top open sideways and the four on the bottom open from the top. And then here are close ups of the other three that I didn't show you previously. And there you go. So I think these turned out really nice. They're simple, yet they're pretty. Um, the only thing I would suggest is if you have not that strong of a base card, make sure you mat the inside of your card as well. All right. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I'm going to have a link to this paper collection on scrapbookingwithme.com. And when you go there, make sure you use the coupon code TT15. So that way you get an extra discount off of your order. Thank you guys so much. And I hope you have a great weekend.